Hey there, folks. Today I've got a story that's straight out of a spy thriller, but with very real and tragic consequences. We're talking about the recent deadly pager explosions in Lebanon, which targeted Hezbollah and injured thousands. So here's the scoop. On Tuesday, pagers belonging to members of Hezbollah, the Iran-backed militant group, exploded almost simultaneously. This attack resulted in the deaths of multiple people and injured nearly 2,800 across Lebanon. Among the victims was a child, and at least 170 people are now in critical condition. Now who's behind this? According to multiple sources, this was a joint operation between Israel's intelligence service Mossad and the Israeli military. The New York Times reported that Israel hid explosives inside a batch of pagers ordered from a Taiwanese manufacturer, Gold Apollo, which were destined for Hezbollah. These explosives were embedded with a switch that allowed them to be detonated remotely. Videos circulating on social media and news agencies show powerful explosions in various locations across Lebanon. One particularly shocking CCTV video shows a man in a supermarket picking out fruit when an explosion tears his bag to shreds. The man drops to the ground, clutching his lower abdomen, and after several seconds, you can hear his groans of pain. The wave of explosions hit several areas, particularly the southern suburbs of Beirut and towns in the central Beka Valley, which are known Hezbollah strongholds. Lebanese internal security forces reported that these hacked pagers detonated after receiving a message on Tuesday afternoon. Multiple photos and videos on social media confirmed the damage and chaos that ensued. Eyewitnesses described scenes of carnage, with blood on the roads and people being rushed to hospitals. One witness recounted visiting a friend who had been carrying one of the pagers when it exploded. He mentioned that these devices weren't just in the hands of Hezbollah members, but also in the hands of ordinary people and security personnel who were also hurt. David Kennedy, a former U.S. National Security Agency intelligence analyst, commented on the explosion seen in the videos. He noted that the blasts were too large to be caused by a simple hack, suggesting that the explosives planted in the pagers were indeed sophisticated and deadly. This unprecedented attack has further escalated tensions in the Middle East, already heightened by Israel's ongoing conflict with Hamas and Gaza. Both Lebanon and Hezbollah have vowed to respond to what they call Israeli terrorism. So there you have it, folks. A deadly game of cat and mouse with devastating consequences for innocent bystanders. Stay tuned for more updates as this situation continues to unfold. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more news stories like this.